Don't you just wish that you could edit your videos faster and easier? Well, you can with this. All right, so this video is sponsored by Logitech. And so I'm just gonna give you a rundown of what these are. This is the Logitech MX Creative Console, and it consists of the Creative Keypad and the Creative Dial Pad. Essentially, it's an editing console that works with the entire Adobe Creative Suite. I know, it's pretty cool. Bonus, it also activates some functions on your computer, like turning up the volume, the brightness, or opening up an app. Like these things are actually really useful. Now, the thing about editing consoles is that sometimes they can be intimidating. Hold on, I'm just gonna plug this back into my computer. There we go, we'll talk about them in a sec. But some editing consoles can be very intimidating and even complicated to the point where there's too many buttons and there's too many things to remember. So when Logitech reached out, I was a little bit hesitant because I, I don't really use editing consoles, but when I used the keypad and the dial pad for the first time, I was like, okay, I get it. This is simple enough for me to understand. And for the past month and a half, I've been editing all my videos with the Creative Console. And the cool thing is that they don't have to sit in your studio the entire time. All right, so I'm currently traveling and it's early and I have to edit, but not to worry because I brought the MX Creative Console with me. Now, I think it's important to say that it's so useful that the dial pad and the keypad are so small. I mean, look at them. They easily pack into my backpack and I can bring it to any hotel that I travel to, set up my little editing station. Here, I got a little uh, USB-C cable. I'm just gonna plug it in. Got my keypad, there we go. Got my dial pad. Of course, I have to bring the MX Master 3S. I refuse to edit any video without it. Like, this is such a great mouse. And now I can open up Premiere and I'm ready to go. I don't know if you see it. Hold on. Here, let me go a little wider. Look, look at look at me. Look at me being professional. Okay, well, seriously, I have to go edit. All right, let me show you how they work. So setting up the keypad and the dial pad is really easy. With the keypad, you just use a USB-C cable and plug it into your computer. And when you open up the Logix Option Plus app, you should be able to see it right away. With the dial pad, it's a little bit different. It is wireless, so you have to pair it via Bluetooth. It's super easy to do. Just press the easy switch button on the back for a few seconds, wait till it blinks fast, and then pair it with your computer. And once connected, you should be able to see both devices. And also, if you have any other Logitech products like the MX Master 3, or the Brio, or even the keys, you should be able to see it in the app. All right, let's go ahead and start with the keypad. Just go ahead and click on it, go to customize keys. And here you see the default presets already installed on the keypad. So there it is on the screen. And over here on my desktop, there's a keypad. And if I press the emoji button, watch, I'm gonna press it and there it is. Same thing if I press finder, if I press it, there it is right over there. So now I'm gonna show you how to customize it to your liking. If you go to the right side, you can see a variety of options to choose from. So let's say for example, I wanna open up Premiere Pro. Well, I just click on hold on the open application and drag it right over to whatever button you want. Like say for example, oh, I don't know, let's just do screen brightness. And then here you can choose whatever app you want to open. Uh, let's go to Premiere Pro. Ah, here we go. And again, because this works in conjunction with the Adobe Creative Suite, there's already a Premiere icon right there. So there's Premiere Pro on the screen. And then on my desktop, there's Premiere right over there. And it's not just limited to these nine buttons over here, like you can actually add pages. So if I go down over here, go to page number two, these buttons are blank and now I can just add in whatever I want. So let's go ahead and go down to, oh, I don't know, maybe navigation, clock, moon phase. Okay, sure, well, let's just do moon phase. I'm gonna drag it over to this button over here and now I can go to that page, hit that button and that's gonna, you know, tell me the moon phase. You know, useful information for when you're editing videos. And what's great is that it's not just limited to these options as well. There's actually a marketplace that's open to the public where if you go down over here where it says find more from marketplace, you can find so many plugins that's going to fit your workflow, like from Spotify to the Philips Hue app. Like you can activate a lot of actions with these plugins. It's so awesome. Also, the keypad is application specific. So you can customize your buttons per application. So let's go to Premiere Pro right over here. And these are the default presets for whenever I open up Premiere Pro. These are pretty common actions like full screen or save or use a razor tool. And just like before, you can even customize it, which is so awesome. And as you can see, there's so many different options that you can use and add your favorite actions to these buttons. But let's go ahead and move on to the dial pad. 
I personally love the dial pad because if I had to choose one of these to bring with me, I would absolutely take the dial pad, mainly because of this big dial over here. Like if you edit a lot of videos, then you know what I mean. And here I've already customized the dial pad to my liking, and I've kind of kept it mostly the same. The only things I changed are these two buttons over here. For general operation of my computer, I like using this button to open up Safari if I need to browse something, and I use this button over here to open up my Finder. The vertical scrolls for when I'm browsing a page and I'm just kind of reading down the website. And the dial over here, it says contextual. It's kind of hard to explain because it, it does a variety of things. Like if I don't have any apps open, this dial can increase the volume and decrease it. But if I open up Premiere Pro, it will scrub through the timeline back and forth. That's why it's called contextual. All right, so we have the dial pad over here and just watch how I can scrub through the timeline with the dial. So I'm just gonna go here, look at that. Like I could be way more precise with my edits and I don't have to like press and hold on my mouse all the time to go to a, a certain part of the timeline. Like I, I can just use the dial just like that. It's so cool. And if I wanna expand and zoom in a little bit more, like I just use the vertical scroll over here. Look at that. That's like not only am I saving time, but just the, the precision of my edits is gonna be a lot easier. So right now I'm in my editing panel, but if I wanna to go to my color grading panel, I just press this button over here and then look at that. Now I got my color grading workspace ready to go. If I wanna go back to my editing workspace, I press this button over here and look at that. Color grading, editing, color grading, editing. Hi, traveling again. So I brought the keypad and the dial pad with me and I wanted to talk more about the, the dial pad because the contextuality of it is really useful. Check this out. So like I said before, I like using the dial pad to scrub through my timeline. But if I wanted to quickly color correct or color grade my, my footage, well, I just press this button over here, which will open up the actions ring feature. Now this thing is so cool because watch this. If I press it, it's gonna open up these eight bubbles over here. And here I have options like color temperature, the tint, if I wanna change the exposure. And if I wanna change the exposure, I just hover over that option over there. And with the dial pad, I can simply increase it just like that. And if I like the way it looks, I just remove the actions ring, it's gone. And then I can go back to scrubbing through the timeline with the dial pad. How cool is that? Also forgot to mention, uh, since this is wireless, it does use two AA batteries. And you might think, oh, batteries, that's so old. Well, hold on, because these batteries actually last about 18 months, which is pretty insane. And if you have rechargeable batteries, well, hey, then you can recharge them every 18 months. Now the Logitech MX Creative Console costs $199, but it also includes three months of the entire Adobe Creative Suite subscription. So. That alone, getting the console alone will give you three months of Adobe Creative Suite. Like, yeah, you're paying 200 bucks for these two devices, but you're also getting three months of free Adobe products. That's, that's kind of a no brainer. It literally, pace for itself. But the thing that I love most about the MX Creative Console is just the simplicity. I love how simple it is to use. I love how minimal it looks. Like it looks really great on my desktop setup. And because it's simple to use, like I actually get to use most of the buttons. I get to customize a lot of the buttons. Essentially, I get to make my entire workflow a lot more efficient. I mean, really, it's just buttons and a dial pad. And with my MX Keys and my MX Master 3, like I feel like I have the most efficient video editing setup. But that's the Logitech MX Creative Console. If you have any questions about it, let me know in the comments below. If you wanna check it out for yourself, check out the link down in the description below. But I'm out of here because I actually have to edit videos, you know, because it's my job. <laughs> <laughs>